What's happening, Heartscapers? Today, we're pouring peers. Let's get into this. So I'm gonna be using this mud mixer today. This essentially is a concrete or even mortar mixing piece of equipment here. Does it all by itself. All it is is it hooks up to your hose and it runs off an electrical motor there and you just break up a bag of concrete in the top. It automatically mixes water into it based on your dial here. So if you want more water, you're just gonna increase that. And this forward and reverse lets you move the spindle here. You can actually see where that water is coming out there. So our form is nice and square. This is gonna be for the hot tub. And we're actually gonna lay pavers on top of it. So let's get to it. All right, first off, I am no expert in concrete. We rarely do this, as you can see. This is where this mud mixer really comes in handy. These little light loads, being able to do this, because I can't, especially at my scale, order concrete. There's a minimum order amount. We're well below that with this pour. So this is where the mud mixer really comes in handy. You can see that uh, a couple of times it gave me some troubles when it's on the lowest water setting and it, it clogs. So you actually have to increase that water setting, but what that does is it does make it a little bit more soupy than I'd rather it be. You can also see, and for you concrete guys out there, I'm using a rake, but I'm flipping it over on the other side. Still not really truly good. You should be using a come along rake for concrete to drag that out, but this is getting it done. What I've learned after the first time using this, one, it is really fast, about 40 bags per hour, which is amazing. This got done in an hour or so. Other thing I learned is that it does get clogged on that lowest setting, which does become a pain because the next setting, I have this at in between 25 and 50, and that just introduces a little bit too much water, especially if you fall behind, because then it's just water coming out of that chute. So you can see we got a little bit of pooling, around it uh, not too worried about that because this is not going to be shown there are going to be pavers on top of this so that's not a major concern but it is something that we'll have to think about in future pours other than that i'm very impressed with this thing and how fast it is how easy it makes it for us especially me a one-man show right now to be able to do something like this i do love that it comes with this little hose that you can wash it down with afterwards. You can see we're gonna have to do that a little bit here. And we have our hot tub area poured. So that went nice and well. We're gonna put pavers on top of that. So that is for their hot tub. We were able to pour these pillars. So we've got pillars poured. I put the curing blanket on them overnight and allowed them over the weekend to nicely cure. They're looking good. We got one, two, one in the pillar there. One, two, one, two. And then privacy screens going along here as well.
Overall, my thoughts on this mud mixer, really like it. It works really well for our application, especially for me not being able to order concrete in such a small quantity and just me being on site uh, to do this. A little bit of a learning curve to get the right consistency of concrete every single time, but overall really happy with this purchase and this piece of equipment. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. Like this video if you found it helpful for whatever reason and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more housekeeping content like this. Thank you so much for watching.